Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because I've got a great new feature that's available for you. It's definitely something that has been heavily requested by our membership and it's finally available. So now when you log into your Design Files account, what we've done here is we've built in the ability for you to access any of those additional product images that you have saved to any of the items within your personal library. So if you have been spending the time to clip multiple product images so you can see the item from the side, the back, the front, now what you'll see is little arrows on either side of the product image. And if you click on those arrows, you're going to be able to flip through to see all the available images that are uh, tied to this particular product. And you can grab the one that is best suited for the design that you're creating. So it's going to give you a lot more flexibility to quickly access those items and pull in the version of the product that's best going to suit your design. Now this feature has been built into your personal product library, but we also built it into the main product library as well. So that means if there are any items within our main product library that have additional product images, you now have access to those as well. And you'll be able to flip through all of the available versions of this product and then pull out the uh, option that is going to best suit your design. Now, if you haven't been uh, taking the time to save additional product images to any of the items that you upload to your Design Files account, you definitely want to start doing that from here on out so that you can build in that flexibility and grab the uh, version of the product that's going to suit whatever design board you're creating. And the good news is it's really quick and easy to do. So let's just pop over here and let's say I want to grab this chair from Crate and Barrel. So if I wanted to do that, all I have to do is click on the add to design files option in my bookmarks bar, and it's going to open up the clipper. Now, if it didn't grab the image that I want right away, it's not a problem. I'm just going to click on the grab icon here, click on the product image that I want, and it's going to fill it in. Now below that, you're going to see an option that says clip additional images. So if you click on this, it's going to allow you to grab additional product images for this particular product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this version now, and then I'll just click on the grab icon, click on the image I want, and it's going to fill it in. And I'm going to make my way through the rest of these images that I want. So I'll take this version as well, and I'll take this final version from the back. And when I go ahead and I add in all my other additional product details here and save this item, now, when I go back into my design files account, I'm going to have the original image, but I'll also have access to all those additional product images. So I'll be able to pull in whatever version I want into my design board. So there you go. That's how it works. I'm really excited to get this one out to you. So definitely pop into your design files account, give this new feature a try. And as always, let us know what you think.